If we were to combine 380 milliliters of water and 440 milliliters of water at these specific temperatures here, and we combine them, what will be the final temperature? Um, well, uh, in order to do that, we basically have to figure out what the Q lost was and set that equal to the negative Q gained. And uh, basically what that means is we sort of figure out the Q for both of these and then set them equal to each other. Um, all right, well, Q is normally going to be uh, mass times the specific heat capacity times the uh, change in temperature. And this is supposed to be F minus I. Um, so basically we kind of have two pieces to this. We have the one that's uh, with the final temperature and then we can actually separate this out and make this another one over here with the initial temperature and then it wouldn't be a delta here it would just be just the t's so it's something more like this and so now we have the q's uh, set up and this is going to be equal to the second q so this is for this side and then we'd have another one over here literally the exact same way um, but this one would be set up with a negative sign over here so um yeah just keeping that in mind it's a little bit messy here but you know how it is so we have an equal sign, and then that's negative. We're going to set up the exact same way. So like this with the ti, bam. Okay, obviously since, since it's negative, this thing would be negative, that thing would be positive, but we'll deal with that later. Now let's notice that the CS is a term that will be divided across all of them, because this is just the same thing. It's just water on both sides. So this is the CS of water every single time. These masses are going to be a little bit different, though. So on this side, let's keep in mind that one milliliter of H2O is supposed to be equal to one gram. This is actually kind of given to us in the problem as well. So uh, let's start with um, 380 grams on this side. And we have the final temperature, but we don't really know the final temperature. That's kind of what we're looking for. Then we subtract, again, 380 grams. And the initial temperature is 25 on this side. And then we could set that equal to negative um, three, or actually this one's going to be 140 grams. And then the final temperature, we don't know that. We're going to distribute this so it becomes positive. And over here we have 140 grams. And then the initial temperature is 95 degrees. So we should be able to kind of rearrange this equation by uh, moving this to the other side, moving that to the other side. Let's figure out what this stuff might be. B. So 380 plus 140 is 520 on this side. So we have 520 um, grams. And then the final temperature thing, if we set that equal to, uh, this is a little bit more, 140 times 95. And then we're going to just add um, 380 times 25. And so we get this pretty big number here, 22,800. And now we can just divide this by the 520. And so we should get our final temperature is 43.85 degrees uh, Celsius here. Bam, not too bad.